What's up everyone, Leviathan here with another FPV product overview. This time I'm going to go over the Newbie Drone Flow Motors from NewbieDrone.com. Full disclaimer, I am sponsored by Newbie Drone and they provided these motors for testing and review. The Flow Motor is a beautifully designed motor, with the bell housing being inspired by the Mercedes S class rims. The bell ring is a reflective charcoal gray color and it has soft black silicone 20 gauge wires. The motor size is 2306.5 and they are available in 1850 kV and 2450 kV versions. Besides the ring magnet of the smooth motor, there haven't been any huge advancements in outrunner brushless motors for quite some time. Although there is still a lot of motor choices out there, the main differences between most of them are in the combination and quality of the components chosen, as well as the consistency and manufacturing process. For that reason, the way I talk about the flow motor will be focusing more on why the individual components were chosen. They aren't intended to reinvent the DC motor. Very quickly, I'd like to mention that all flow motors are bench tested and inspected at the factory before being packed up and shipped. The magnets in the flow motors are N55H magnets. N55 magnets were chosen because they are about 5-6% to stronger than the common N52 magnets. The H variant of the N55 magnet was chosen because it raises the maximum working temperature from 60 degrees Celsius in the standard N55 to 120 degrees Celsius in the N55H. This means the magnets will not lose their strength or degrade at higher operating temperatures. This should increase the life of the magnets if they're ran hot. I'm not saying you shouldn't care if they're running hot. I'm saying that you'll have a much lower chance of failure if you push your Ds a little high, which we've all done. The bearings of the flow motors are the Japanese brand NSK and have still ball bearings. Although many people believe that ceramic bearings are better because they have lower rolling resistance, the performance gain of the ceramic is only about 3% over steel. More interestingly, the gain is only from the ball bearing itself. Ceramic bearings require a special cage that adds about 7% more friction, which ultimately gives the steel bearings the overall advantage. Also, ceramic bearings will start absorbing power far quicker than steel during their life, and it's for this reason that NSK steel bearings were chosen. The motors have the common titanium alloy hollow shaft, which is very durable and strong. The stator core is made from 0.15 millimeter silicone steel sheets versus cold rolled lamination steel that cheaper motors use. Silicone steel is low carbon steel with small amounts of silicone added to reduce core eddy current losses. The silicone protects the core of the stator and transformer, which reduces the material's hysteresis, the time between when the magnetic field is initially generated and when it's fully developed. Here's some flight footage. Since receiving the prototype flow motor back in October of 2019, it has been the only motor I use in all of my quads except for one, the one with the Newbie Drone Smooth Ring Magnet Motors. I love this motor. The torque curve, power, and smoothness are obvious when flying them. After cycling several hundred packs through them and numerous crashes, I still honestly believe this is the best motor I've ever flown. They will be my only go-to motor for the foreseeable future, and if you try them, I believe you'll feel the same way. If you have flown them or have any comments, questions, or opinions about them, please leave a comment below. If you like this video and you want to see more like them, consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much. Hashtag MPRM sucks.